Okay, so I decided that I'm going to reuse this Tactics. Um, it was a lie poly uh, lithium ion polymer case that uh, had a supposed to be 10,000 milliamp hour, it was about 7,000 milliamp hour lie poly in it. So we're going for uh, 30 amp hour. All of these are 3,000 milliamps or close enough. Uh, they're Samsung 18650s out of a 6 amp hour uh, AEG battery, so it's um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to join all these up together and we're going to uh, jerry-rig them on the back of this case tighten up the couple of USB port spring clips in there to make it a bit tighter and uh, test it let's get some soldering done Okay, so we've got our negative side done. It's not pretty, but it doesn't need to be. This is uh, one of those uh, function over form videos. Could have made it pretty with cell spaces and all that, but. Uh, Essentially all I want it for is a big USB bank. Let's make the uh, Samsung S6 last longer. Because uh, when you're trying to do video work with the Samsung S6, it's extremely good. It does extremely good video. Um, in 1440 and 4K. And uh, at this res as well. Which is... Uh, 1080 at 60 FPS. That's okay. It does all of that quite well. The battery life is a big factor. Um, not knocking it because it's it is it is good. Don't get me wrong. But um, if it's only running a um, I'm not sure exactly on the spec, but say 2000 milliamp hour cell and it's pulling two, 2 amps when it's uh, working hard like the old S5s and things did. I rated it pulling 2 amps. Uh, its run times are going to be under an hour because just because of degradation. So it's something to keep in mind. As you can see, the solder I'm using is a bit overkill, but 
I uh, buy these 500 gram rolls of this big thick stuff for uh, under twenty dollars, I believe. I think they're seventeen ninety nine or something. Seventeen ninety nine from a local supplier, so I can't complain too much. Generally, they sold it pretty well. Some eighteen six fifties are great. Some of them can be a little bit testing. Positive wire into the pack. I'm only using some fairly thin wire, but it appears to be about the same gauge as the stuff on the actual uh, unit when she's sent out of the factory. It's not going to be this long either, it's going to be, I'm going to be able to shorten them up a bit. Enjoy these 18650 videos and repowering things with uh, lithium ion and 18650s. There's a few more in the playlist that you'll uh, find pretty easy. Um, lithium ion batteries have got their own playlist, you can find it. Alright, so we've got our two points. Make sure they're all stuck. We don't want to have any uh, there for no reason. Still going to go ahead and marry these two together with some black duct tape. Like I said, I'm not going for pretty. The other thing that this will quite possibly be used for is long time lapses with the GoPro. That's something this is going to be great for. Right then, shorten down our cables. Even though they're an old pair of side cutters, they're still quite sharp. They're not bad for stripping. As you see. Yeah, do will have any small heat string tubing.
These little kits are the best. No, I think they're left with only good stuff. We might have to go for mechanical separation this time. <laughs> French for I can't find an impeaching small enough. Mm, no fireworks when we put them together. That's, that's a win. Let's test it. Powered up. Let's plug the uh, tablet that's running over there in. Maybe. The, uh, the pins in there are just a bit out of shape. Must have um, hit them or something or whatever. Let's move them out. Small and pointy, maybe that. One of those two guys there. Okay, so, uh, The tablet shows that it's charging up top here. Bit of focus of Rooney would do. Ah, see if it's up, charging. No indicator light is there, says that that's discharging. Right. Disconnect the sensitive equipment. Start up our two cables. Using my little uh, 30 watt 12 volt trade flame. Solder and iron start. Trade flame. Great little unit. Um, it's running off an Xbox 360 power supply. Straight away that kicks into charging mode and uh, it's supply and power. So the uh, only next test we can do is to uh, discharge it until this turns itself off. Then we'll give it a recharge with the uh, give it a recharge with the lipo charger to see what capacity we end up with. Thanks for watching. This is a bit of a bit of a dodged up unit but this is going to uh, allow me to run well, 30 amps like the GoPro battery is uh, 1.2 amps or whatever you know we're talking nearly 30 times longer run time so it's going to fill camera cards every time no worries these are salvaged 18650 cells from a cell exactly the same as this AEG 6 amp hour this is uh Reuse in its uh, best form. Repurposing some lithium ion. So uh, we pulled out a 7 amp hour um, light poly. We put in a pack of 10 3 amp hour plus 18650s that were uh, Samsungs, the pink Samsungs. Um, yeah, absolute win. Very happy with the project. Um, it's taken me 20 minutes maybe and uh, that includes packing the batteries together and everything that's 20 minutes and we've now got a uh, charger that's going to keep us recording all day thanks for watching catch you next time